So as the uncle of a child that has autism, just graduated high school, by the way, uh, and having seen the parenting of him and the parenting of, 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 of other kids that have autism, it can be quite the challenge. Some parents can get really overwhelmed and just throw their hands up. Their kids get ostracized in school, learning challenges. They learn in a different way, and it can be quite challenging. Our next guest knows that those challenges, they aren't a forever thing. As a matter of fact, these kids, they can be incredibly brilliant. They just think in a different way than your eye. And we're going to learn about how right now. We are with Dick Williams. He is an author joining us this morning from a beautiful area of Colorado. So happy to see you, Dick, this morning. And we're here to talk about the book you're working on right now called Accepting Autism, Especially Woman, that I believe you're working on with a colleague. Yes, I am. Uh, my colleague is uh, Jeffrey Freed, the author of a very popular book, uh, The R R Right Brain Child in a Left Brain Classroom. Mm -hmm. um, it was very successful and, and has done well, but he comes from a uh, consulting background. He's a, actually a, a special education consultant and has been working with autistic children for 30 years. Uh, my background is academia and um, have taken my, my interest in autism uh, with the adoption of a, uh, an autistic child uh, who is now successful at age 43 and um, living independently very nicely. That's fantastic. Oh, wow. uh, you, you've been studying autism now uh, for, for years and years. And, and through your studying, you found genetic evidence on autism that this is actually far more prevalent than, than we might think. That's accurate. Uh, it is, it is um, a much bigger and a much more important part of the human population than anybody realizes now. And we are now beginning to, to show that evidence uh, with the famous understanding of the human genome and especially the genome-wide association studies that has lent a tremendous amount of new information to our understanding of autism. As, as well as, you know, many other studies and diseases as well. So we know that um, autism uh, for 50 percent of the cases is handled or, or, or organized by over a thousand genes. And these genes yeah. are in every single person. They are scattered throughout the world and tend to th these are the autism risk genes and they tend mm -hmm. to accumulate when you have marriage and therefore if you take one person with smart, some mild autistic traits but would never be diagnosed with autism and he marries a similar person who has the same sort of situation where she is um you know has some autistic traits but would not be at all autistic uh, by any medical standard and they come together and for their lineages for the first time produce an autistic child Interesting. And that autistic well, child. Research. Sorry, go ahead. No, uh, the, the, please the, continue. The autistic, the autistic child has accumulated enough genes from each of the parents to reach a threshold where there are more autistic traits. And that threshold is the equivalent of the amount it takes for a human diagnosis, for a doctor's diagnosis for an autistic child. Um, well, these it's genes just so have been fascinating, your understanding around autism. And also you're just making me realize even in my lifetime, there's been so much more information come out around autism. But in fact, you say this may have been around since prehistoric times. It's quite a history. It has a, it has a tremendous history and it is well worth appreciating that because several things these genes and the population of approximately two percent who have the diagnosis have been around for millennia um, it is to say yeah. it's likely picked up for five or six million years ago uh, during the primate period and those those genes have been selected for they have a positive selective contribution to the survival of the human population it's just that today in our time where we have the, the modern uh, Silicon Valley and high tech, et cetera, we have not appreciated what they have done. And number one, number two, we haven't really appreciated what their traits are that had been selected for. And we're beginning to do that now with an understanding that autistic children like the STEM studies and um, artistic studies, the uh, art, 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 
artist work, art, artwork, and yeah. that <laughs> whole area comes as a specialty. Yeah, no question about it. I mean, these are some, uh, my, my uh, nephew is one of the sharpest kids you'll ever, he can hand draw every single interstate in America. I mean, he is brilliant. Uh, and uh, and it yeah. just, it's just a different way of thinking. Now, there's been a debate that's going on. Oh, it's the, ah, uh, the, the vaccines, the vaccines are triggering autism. Thoughts? Well, um, that is a crying shame. And it has originated in, in late 90s from a scientific paper that was published that two years later was retracted and all of the authors except the senior author uh, um, uh, recused themselves and denied the paper. Wow. So the, mm. the, the journal re retracted it, but the, the message lingered and at the, at, with media coming up, social media starting in the early 70s, or excuse me, early 2000s, we see a pickup of the anti-vaxxers yeah. and uh, this is a now a very to a hot topic current theme and an amazingly uh, you know a non-scientific group of people yeah well there we go wow Thank That's you for I your know. thoughts on that, Jack. We've run out of time, but we're going to tell people to head to your website. And can they look there to see your book? And when's it coming out? Well, the, the book uh, we have we expect to be towards the end of the year. Uh, we have, uh, as I say, it, it is a working title and the publisher is going to decide for us whether they like it or not. That's <laughs> fair enough. Well, it's, <laughs> great. it's great having you, my friend, Honestly. Dick. It's a pleasure having you. Thank you so much. Thank you. All right. If you want Thank to learn you very more, much for the opportunity. Uh, a pleasure to have you. If you want to learn more about Dick and, and that new book that's coming out soon, you can just go to the website, alwaysautistic.com. We thank uh, Dick so much. Dick Williams, by the way, a proud sponsor of The Morning Blend.